So it's Bristol City who kick off the 82nd Bristol Derby. The first ever, of course, to be played here in the Royal Crown. Already they're under pressure. Maybe Curitan leading the attack for Rovers. Brennan gets an early touch. Taylor with the clearance. Lively start for the home side. Shot from Martin. Early touch of the ball too for Peter Stuart Taylor. Getting uh, that long range effort from Lee Martin. Gota both lost it in the sun perhaps. This is Agostino. Bent neatly away from his man. Only Gota up there at the moment. More red shirts arriving. Agostino is there. Extraordinary incident. Paul Agostino who scored the opening goal at Ashton Gate so close again for City. Paul Ashton Gate so close again for City. Junior Bent who uh, made the chance. Great cross from him. Collett looked as though he was favourite. That's a super leap though from Agostino. And so close to the opening goal. the way forward, Taylor beat Curitan to it. And up and under for the rugby ground. Carey's made a mess of that clearance. Beadle seizes upon it. Beats Martin, who's also playing in midfield. Powers crosses a good one. Curitan's header. Miller's there. If he'd made good contact, he would surely have scored. I think Paul Miller knows it. There goes Agostino. Real chance for the visitors. Agostino has gone all the way. And just as he did at Ashton Gate, Paul Agostino puts his side ahead. Well, a few have made the trip from Ashton Gate are enjoying the party. A really superb solo goal by Agostino almost looked as though the ball was trapped beneath his feet he just chipped it over the advancing keeper Paul Agostino's 14th goal of the season and boy did he enjoy that one Rovers a goal down Bent tussling with power again Bent it's the better of that little duel and he's faced by Martin be another corner kick. Let's concentrate on the football. It's Alan uh, Barnard with the corner. <laughs> it's Agostino again. He's on fire at the moment for Bristol City. He's at the heart of everything they do. Rovers will have to sort out the marking. It's a fairly straightforward kick. Everybody missed it. Agostino flung himself at it. He's looking dangerous every time the ball's in and around that Rovers penalty area. Rovers supporters doing their best to lift the team. Beadle. Martin, too high for Holloway, high break for Skinner, well charged down Gary Hours. And City may break here, Junior Bent's away and no one will catch him, it's Bent against Collett, good save by the goalkeeper. Well, he's saved Rovers a lot this season, another excellent contribution from Andy Collett, nobody was ever going to get to Bent. The one question mark against him is his finishing. And it really was one-on-one. -on -one. And well done, the goalkeeper. Not sure what Carey was attempting. Uh, Edwards had to help him out at the expense of the corner. But, uh, it was a bad miskick from his colleague. Five minutes or so to go to the break. Rovers would love an equaliser. Flick on at the near post. A break for Curitan. Did well to bring it down. Turn. It's a question of how 
much he knew about it. It's definitely handball. It's all a question of intent. It's Peter Beadle against Stuart Naylor. Save. And away they do it. And despair for Rovers fans. Joy for the City faithful and Stuart Naylor, the hero of the day. A short run and a poor kick. Beadle for Curity. And it was available. A terrible pass. Suddenly Gota's away for Bristol City, Martin trying to get to him, Sean Gota makes it 2-0 and that should be three points in the bag for Bristol City and the two heroes are there together. More celebrations for the Reds and a well taken goal on the counter. Just sprung the offside trap, Martin tried to get back to good strength by Gota and that's a cool finish. Good control, supreme strength and 19 goals for the season for Sean Gota and perhaps three points for Bristol City. That's where the singing and the dancing is at the moment, the stunned silence everywhere else in the memorial ground. Once again, City can spring on the counter-attack. Movers really are leaving themselves open at the back now. They're going to go for it at the other end, of course. Tilson managing to hold up Hewlett, but he's found Gota. Now Bent. So of course, will be in no rush now. The two-goal cushion. Gota, just behind him, Agostino, it's wide. Or would you believe it, the golden boots of Paul Agostino for once letting him down. Martin's mistake initially, Bent has cut the ball back away from the goalkeeper. Gota eventually found Agostino, and he put it wide. to Bennett, Rovers straining every muscle to get back into this game. Player smacked it against the other. Sops kept it in play though. Requires a cool head, particularly at the back for City. Rovers have renewed hope. Can Rovers get the last gasp equaliser as they did at Ashton Gate? Patterson. There will be some stoppage time. Historic 
first derby on this uh, rugby ground and it's Bristol City who've won it celebrations for their supporters a muted response from the Rovers fans and Paul Agostino again a thorn in their side his goal which got City underway Sean Gota who's since left the field got the second Julian Allsop the substitute brought Rovers back into it there was hope for their side but uh, in the end it's City who've taken the spoils they've won the game by two goals to one and they're enjoying these post-match celebrations with their fans thankfully those supporters have been well behaved and bar an isolated incident at the other end this whole match has been played in a good spirit on and off the field October going to be a pretty game today. The pitch is awful, very bubbly. Um, you know, you don't see much pretty football today. But we knew we had to come and you know match what they were going to throw up against us. They hit lots of long balls, and I thought we dealt with them quite well.